What's up guys and girls, Brock Ashby here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. I'm out here uh, posting fitness content, answering questions, um, ultimately telling you and sharing with you what I know about how to get world-class results. Let's go. In this video, I'm gonna be taking you through a question that I got on Instagram around bulking. Um, a lot of people stuff this up. So what we're going to do is kind of answer how to do it right. So the question is, tried bulking but noticed fat in my tummy. What did I do wrong? Now, bulking, like the thing that everyone kind of stuffs up is, bulking is not just eat whatever you want, train hard, sleep as much as you can, and you build muscle, right? That is such a bro way to approach bulking. The first thing we need to do is establish the optimal place to build muscle. And that is a calorie surplus. So what is a calorie surplus? A calorie surplus is ultimately when we're eating more calories, so consuming more calories than we burn. So we have a surplus of energy. And that surplus of energy helps us with training well, helps us with ultimately re recovering well and giving us the nutrients that we need in our diet to support the muscle building process optimally. So if you think about it as just having a buffer, having more food than you need for a village, the village is going to be abundant, right? So your muscles could be the villages and they are going to be abundant because they have enough food, they have enough resources to grow and to do what they need to do. And that's ultimately what happens when we have more than enough calories in our body to do all the processes of muscle protein synthesis, of recovering, and then to help fuel us into our workouts, that's ultimately what all the calories are doing. And when we are creating this calorie surplus, we have a surplus of energy and that is deposited as body fat. But the biggest place where people go wrong when they're bulking is they just stuff themselves with too much food. When you're bulking, so after figuring out, okay, number one, we need a surplus. Number two, the question is, well, what size calorie surplus do we need? And the answer is not that much. For a standard person, in comparison to a hard gainer, which is, so let's say there's two types of people that are bulking. There's a standard person, and then there's a hard gainer. Okay, so a standard person is just someone with a regular metabolism, let's say, standard. A hard gainer is someone that struggles to gain weight, that struggles to build muscle. They need a bit of a different approach. So if we stick with the standard person, you only need around a 5%, 10% calorie surplus. And that is 5% to 10% more calories above your maintenance. So if your maintenance calories are 2,500, like that's how many calories you eat and you would stay the same weight. If you had 2,500 calories and then you just added another 5% on, 10% on, all you're really adding on is somewhere between like 250 calories, 100 calories, maybe 300. Like that's a small amount over maintenance. But what a lot of people do is they go from 2,500 to like 4,000, 5,000 calories and they just get fat. They just eating, you know, like they're just eating whatever they want. That's not the case. If you want to build muscle and if you want to put on lean muscle as well, you need to do it in a lean manner by only giving yourself a small calorie surplus. We don't need a huge calorie surplus. It doesn't need to be huge because we only need to be just over maintenance to help us give us that, that, that kind of cushion, those extra calories to lean on to say, hey man, help me recover, help, help me with this muscle protein synthesis. If we have 1,000, 2,000 calories extra, that's just going straight to body fat. And that's where everyone goes wrong. They just eat way too much. So for a standard person, five to 10% is more than enough. If you're a hard gainer, and even if you're in a five to 10% calorie surplus, you feel like you're still not gaining weight. I start at 20% for hard gainers. Like you need a lot of calories because you have an inefficient metabolism. Your body may consume a lot of calories, but it may not process them very well. And I sit into this category. I'm a hard gainer. I have to eat a ton of calories. So even just for me to maintain my weight, I'm at 3,500 calories. So if I want to bulk, if I want to gain muscle and optimize that process, I got to get up to around 3,800, 4,000 calories. Because if I don't, I'm just going to keep losing weight. I have genetically high levels of NEAT. 
I move a lot, I train a lot, I walk a lot. This stuff adds up and I have an inefficient metabolism where I don't make the most of all the nutrients that I'm consuming. So I need a higher amount of calories. So if you're a hard gainer, if you're always struggling to gain weight, then I would recommend starting at 20% above your maintenance calories and then working up from there if you need to. So ultimately, that's all I wanted to answer in this video is how to bulk correctly. You know, obviously there's training, okay? And that's a whole different kettle of fish. We can talk about how much we're training, what muscle groups we're hitting, uh, how many rest days are we having? Uh, do you have to be in the gym? Can you do it at home? You know, maybe we can talk about that in another video. But in terms of setting up your nutrition to bulk successfully, you will put on a small amount of body fat, but it, it, it can be small. It doesn't have to be, oh, I need to stuff my face and just get super fat and go, oh, it's muscle. Because here's what happens if you don't bulk correctly. You eat way too much, so you just get fat. And then you look in the mirror and you go, oh, I'm fat. I need to lose weight. So then you drop body fat again. But instead of gaining muscle in that period, all you did was just gain fat really quickly because you ate too much. And then you're just cutting again and you're losing fat. So you just get into the cycle of gaining fat losing fat, gaining fat, losing fat, gaining fat, losing fat, gaining fat, losing fat, and you're just stuck. But if you had a bit of discipline and you just ate just above your calorie surplus, even though the gains may feel slow, muscle building is a slow process, but it will happen over time. You don't need to stuff your face and try and accelerate the process by eating more calories because that doesn't make you build more muscle. It just makes you gain more fat. And there's a big difference, okay? So we want to be building muscle in that calorie surplus phase and then cutting back fat when we cut and then building muscle, gaining a little bit of fat and then cutting back body fat. Building muscle, gaining a little bit of fat, cutting back fat. So then we're, every time we're cutting, we're holding on to more lean tissue, more muscle and our physique is improving over time. That's what we want to do. Guys, if you have any questions that you want me to answer in depth like this, please let me know. Uh, put them in the comment section um, or hit me up on Instagram, I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook as well, so just let me know. Uh, I'm here to provide value, so let me know. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video, answering more questions and giving you more fitness content to help you get results. Let's go.